Good afternoon, everybody, on this Saturday, January 23rd. It is 5 o'clock in the afternoon slash evening. It's literally like 5.03. And <sighs> Shark Week has hit me hard today. And um, I just have no energy. I... I'm in pain and I'm struggling just to really do anything today to be honest with you uh, Wednesday joined me we decided not to do the mulch for a couple of reasons number one I didn't sleep very much last night I only got like five and a half hours of sleep and um, it's freezing outside it's beyond freezing it is uh i i didn't we didn't do mulch i did end up running and getting some honey from the local farmer's market like i said i was going to and that was it like i pretty much ran got that and um got nick some popcorn and came home and that's it um but it's freezing outside. It was like 28, 29 degrees. My my car thermometer kept going back and forth between 28 and 29. Sorry, my leg's itchy. I'm itching my leg. That's why I'm moving back my this arm back and forth because my leg's itchy all of a sudden. Anyway, um, it was going back and forth between 28 and 29 degrees. So it is very, very cold. Um, So John's being a doll. Instead of watching TV in the living room, he's downstairs um, watching TV and he's going through stuff downstairs because we were talking last night and he's like, maybe, or maybe it was this morning when I was getting the fire going, I can't remember. He's like, maybe we just, oh, it must have been this morning when we decided not to do the mulch because of how cold it was. Because it's not only like 20, 29 degrees, but it's windy. So it's like just really cold outside and um he so he was like let's maybe we can instead of doing the mulch we can work on the den so i was doing some of that this morning i got through like i don't know like a, two boxes um and there was only like I think there's like eight boxes down there or maybe 10 boxes down there when you took into account like the stuff that was actually behind the sofa as well. Um, I th no, I must've gotten through a three, but I think I got through three boxes anyway. Um, and then I, I went, I did that this morning and then I went to the farmer's market and I came back. Anyway, I also made breakfast for everybody. <sighs> My brain is all over the place. Um, I just took ibuprofen half an hour ago so it hasn't kicked in yet again like I took some this morning but it hasn't kicked in this afternoon I waited too long to take some ibuprofen so um he's down there now going through it and there's only a couple boxes left down there he's actually gotten through a good chunk of it Wednesday even Wednesday is like making me hurt. She was just standing like her paws were up here on my hip and that hurt. I'm such a big baby. Anyway, uh, we had to wash the sheets. Um, and I did the sheets and towels today, which is why my pillow is white. Cause my, um, pillowcases are in the wash right now. I had to do two loads, but I did the sheets and the towels and the bath mats. I was able to put the sheets back on. We took the comforter off. Um, the red comforter obviously is still on, but we took the blue comforter off that's been like super hot for us because I bought that other one that's black. I haven't washed it yet. And John's like, we probably should wash it before we put it on the bed, which I was thinking anyway. I was like, do you care if I wash it or not? I want to wash it, but I'm not going to wash it today. He's like, why? I said, well, I've already done two loads of laundry. And he's like, so, <laughs> I was like, well, I read somewhere if you have a smaller septic tank, you really need to be careful with how many loads of laundry you do. Oh, it's healing, by the way. It's almost, it's enough, it's healed enough that I decided not to put a Band-Aid on it today. 
um, <laughs> bad angle, right? Well, it's at a bad spot on my arm. Um, yeah, it's healed enough that I decided not to do a band-aid today. Anyway, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just laying around being lazy and tired. Oh, there's the other one. Um, so I read somewhere that if you have a smaller septic tank, which we do have a smaller septic tank, um, that you should probably not do more than like two, maybe three loads of laundry a day because of how much water washing machines put out into the system. So you just have to be careful about that because the water has to process through the system. So I already did two loads. Um, I think we're just going to sleep with the red blanket tonight or maybe a quilt or something um, and put the, I'll wash the new comforter tomorrow and put that on the bed tomorrow. Um, but in the wash right now are the pillowcases, the bath mats. I think that's it. Pillowcases and bath mats. I think that's it. Anyway, I'm tired. John's finishing up stuff downstairs. He is amazing. And I'm cold and I'm tired and I'm in pain. So I think we're just going to get takeout for dinner tonight because I just don't feel like I don't feel like cooking. And honestly, all I feel like doing is just laying here in bed. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing the rest of the night, but I will check in again to let you know, but I think we're just going to get some takeout for dinner tonight. Maybe I'll just make soup. I don't know. We have, plenty of food in the house so it's not like we can't have the food but um I just don't feel like I just don't feel like I'm up for making making um making dinner so and John's been spending he spent a couple of hours downstairs doing that room so it's actually almost back to being like semi-clean now he's got piles for me so like he's got uh, we found a bunch of our old um your books and stuff. I found that a couple weeks ago, but we found actually more in other boxes of John's. I don't have anything from me from less than, uh, lower than high school. Um, I only have my high school ones. So we found some of John's like middle school yearbooks. Um, so he has those in one pile and then he's got a box that has like wall hangings, like pictures and stuff and family pictures and like things that people, like we, I have a cross stitch that one of my friends gave us on our wedding day. Um, and a couple of other things. And I really feel like this is my forever home. And you know, I, we lived in our last house for 16 years and I never wanted to hang anything. And John's like, what is wrong with you? Like, and my sister too. My sister lived with us for a couple years and she's like, why don't you want to hang anything on the walls? I was like, I don't want holes in the walls. And they're like, why don't you want holes in the walls? Like everybody puts holes in the walls. I said, this is not my forever home. I know it's not my forever home. I like this house, but it's not my forever home. I feel like this is my forever home. Um, I really do. So... I'm actually okay with putting holes in the walls here. So, um, I think we're going to hang some of that stuff up. And I haven't put anything up here yet because I have to paint that hallway over there. And we got to decide what we're going to hang up like in the, in the um, living room. But downstairs we have stuff on the walls. I think you guys saw that. I have a couple of paintings that the boys did at my sister-in-law's house one time. Um, they're on the walls. And then we've got some family pictures on the walls downstairs. And then there's some like old Norman Rockwell prints that John had when he was a kid. And he, has a, he had a couple of other prints that he had when he was like in high school. They're all hanging downstairs. Because I'm not working on doing anything downstairs yet. I'm still working on finishing up working on finishing up the paint up here at some point, probably in the spring. Um, I will get back to doing the painting at some point in the spring. Um, but I think John's going to end up finishing or mostly finishing the room downstairs, except for having like 
the pile of pictures that I need to deal with, um, the you know, decide where to put stuff. And he's got like a pile of knickknacks. I was like, I need to figure out where all these knickknacks are going to go. Cause we never really had any knickknacks sitting around. Like we did in some, some areas, like we had them on the, um, mantle at the other house and the mantle at the other house, because it was a fire plate or a gas insert was like super big. Our mantle here in the living room is like a standard, like what, eight, eight inch, six inch mantle. Um, so we can't put all of our knickknacks on there anymore, but I'll figure it out somehow. Um, but the den will be almost, almost clean um, today because of stuff he's going through. Or at least it'll be like sorted and separated and that sort of thing. Um, that means that we're back to doing the barn. Um, really, there's only a couple of places left that we have to really clean out. We have to finish the barn which there's a bunch of boxes of toys from Neil specifically in the barn. And other than Neil's stuff, there's probably what it, maybe a dozen, dozen and a half boxes of stuff we have to go through. Um, I'll probably pull some back over into the den and work on them again. Uh, my office, I still have a half a dozen boxes. And then the garage the single garage on that side of the house we need to get through everything over there too we have to get the refrigerator moved upstairs we've got to get this refrigerator moved downstairs we've got to put the freezer in the laundry room downstairs um and then we got to just like get through the like the single garage is messed up that's where we're putting all of our decorations and like our summer, our beach stuff is in there, our pool stuff is in there. Um, and then just like some other stuff ended up getting like put in there. You know what I mean? So once at some point I'm going to get, get my office done and I got to do that sooner rather than later because that's really keeping me from wanting to film. Um, but I want to get my office situated. I got, I think I'm going to have to get another dresser or something. Um, I might just try to find a dresser at a sale that I can buy, um, for cheap, um, that I can put like an entire dresser of eyeshadow because <laughs> I, I need like an entire dresser of eyeshadow, which is really sad. And, um, yeah, that's really sad. <sighs> so anyway, um, but I do need to get my office finished up. And then it's literally the barn and the one car garage. And then we are done. That's going to be pretty cool. But then is everything else outside. You know what I mean? Like there was an older couple who lived here and she died. She was like 92 or 91 when she died. And the husband was in his mid eighties when he died. Cause she was actually a couple like, she was like six or seven or eight years older than the husband. Um, and he was in his mid eighties when he died. So they didn't, you know, they, they took care of stuff, but the land was not as well taken care of. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of trees and overgrown and plus they passed away in, in the beginning of last year. I think she died a year ago this month, January. And he died, I think, in April. So, like, all summer, the whole back part of the property just overgrew. Um, the son paid somebody to maintain the front of the property, the area around the house. And then he just let the back whole back part just grow. Um, so, this summer is going to be a lot of maintaining and getting that under control and everything. So, we'll see. I've been talking for a really long time and my camera's about to shut off anyway. So I will talk to you guys later and thankfully my ibuprofen is starting to kick in. Yep, I'm coming. It's just about 10.40 actually. And we're going to bed. <laughs> uh, honestly, all I did tonight was sit in bed, listen to YouTube videos while I did a word search and yes, it took me hours to do a word search because the one I'm doing is a little bit more difficult of a book. It's not as easy. And I just went, oh, I'm breathing heavy because I just came upstairs, was checking on the fire, and I burned my finger, so that was always fun. Again. What? 
Yeah, I touched the door. I don't think I'm going to have a blister. It's just the, the, the my fingers. I don't think I'm going to end up with a blister. It just was very hot. And I didn't touch the inside of the door, but the, the wood stove is so hot right now that the handle is hot. Is the fan on? Uh-uh. Oh. Yeah. And I went to grab it and I touched, the, so there's like a little piece of metal from between the door itself and the plastic part of the handle. There's like an inch of metal. And that's the part that I just, I literally just like touched on with my fingers. As I was trying to get the door to shut it, um, I just touched the, the metal. Uh, it's not a big deal. Anyway, I don't think I'll end up with a blister. So today pretty much just was a garbage day. I just didn't do anything today. I just didn't do anything. Got honey. I did get my honey that I wanted to get. But other than that, I really didn't do anything. Right. So today I am thankful that every once in a while I have a day that is a garbage day. <laughs> I don't like why I had a garbage day. I don't like that I was feeling so tired and just, yeah, what John said. I, did, I don't like that that's the reason why I had a garbage day, but nonetheless, I, yeah, I concur with my husband. Anyway, that's gonna be it. You gonna hit it? Huh? You gonna hit it? Today's been yesterday. I hope tomorrow will be just a little better than today. Hope you have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow is not as much a garbage day. We're not doing anything tomorrow either. So tomorrow I'm gonna really assuming I don't feel terrible, I am going to put makeup on and I'm gonna film those unboxings. Ooh. Gosh darn it. So anyway. I'll be watching football. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Me, Bye.